Alright, welcome to the first game of the finals. Technically, but whatever. Be nuclear pizza against the Splatted One. A uh, uh, cyber against UEF on uh, Seraphim Site Seven. And uh, yeah, last try. Uh, Splatted One games crashed a few game. Let, let's hope that that doesn't happen again. Seems like nuclear pizza is doing the same opening. Uh, two land factory opening. But at one seems to be doing the same thing as well. I expect him to get an air factory after this. He hasn't planned it yet. But. Yeah, there we go. Same air factory opening. Uh, and, um,. Yeah, Nuclear Pizza planning to send his land units um, around both sides, both the top and the bottom, with uh, uh, one factory ready to the top and one to the bottom, obviously. Uh, Nuclear Pizza is getting his fifth mass extractor now, while um, that one has already queued up his seventh, but that one is only in one factory. Again, Splatter One hasn't scouted this opening yet by Nuclear Pizza, uh, but this time he's immediately, immediately building his first land factory uh, on the high ground, as opposed to trying to build it on the low ground. He scouts the opening, he knows what's up, and um, yeah, he knows that he can defend this if he uh, just opens with, uh, if he just defends with a normal amount of tanks. Actually, I think he's going to try and defend the south opening with tanks and the north opening with his ACU. Building this radar in a very unlucky place though, it's going to get sniped by that loyalist. Most likely. ACU might be able to save it. Ah! Oh, oh, just barely able to save it. How many hit points did the thing have? I don't know. Must have been one or two. Well, that was two free kills for uh, that one. Nuclear Pizza obviously not very happy with the outcome of that battle. That one just reclaiming that loyalist. One HP, yeah, must have been. Nuclear Pizza reacting with an air factory. Right, Splatter One getting a land factory now. But it does have four air factories though. Not four air factories, four bombers. No five. Five bombers I believe is enough to uh, one hit a uh, loyalist as well as a radar. Uh, but his radar is set by two factories with the air upgrade. That's going to be quite bad. Uh, it seems Nuclear Pete is moving out with all his land units. I think the Splatter one is going to do a bombing run. He has air superiority after all. Yep, pretty much do as he pleases. Bombers. Does he get a kill? No, he doesn't. On the second run, he definitely will. Only losing one bomber though, uh, one loyalist. Hmm? Splat one is uh, already queuing up his fourth land factory. Splat one is uh, on six, seven, eight, nine, ten mass extractors. Well, it's just only running on six. He didn't even make a seventh one. Well, then I think that the outcome of this match is got quite obvious. Nuclear Pizza just cannot make more stuff than that one can with that amount of mass extractors. It's it's 11 against 6 now. 
double income. How could Splatter One possibly lose this? By risking his SE too much? That's not going to happen. Then I've seen cheesier things today. Yeah, but that was by very cheesy players. <laughs> well, we have bombers hanging over near Splat's CCU. Splat will have none of it. The pizza finally having enough researchers, uh, uh, mass to uh, the research station out. I wonder what he will do with that. Peter's trying to snipe Splat's bombers. Not going to happen. Not now, Ooh, no. adapters. We see adapters coming out. Will he combine those with um, with Brackman? For now, it's just more adapters. Yep, that's going to be a lot of adapters. So he's he's trying to uh, he w he wants to snipe land units with his air and then protect his air with the adapters. Should get some Bracken with it, though. But we'll see what he'll do. There goes the red ass snipe. Uh, oh no! Not really. Is that that Those just feels in there. Sure, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Lucky for speed to that one. And um, we've got more loyalists coming out. Now, uh, Peter's going to be trying to snap the bombers. Oh, here comes Slatter. I think he's going to jump jets. Why, why else would he be messing? Oh no, he's just messing there to get the uh, adapter support. That one is just making an A turret. Excellent response. He's just going to move forward and cover his uh, attack with A8 power so mm -hmm. that he cannot um, be bombed. Oh, he's going to go build three more mass extractors and pawn beats his income. He shouldn't. He really shouldn't make more mass extractors. I mean, he already has twice the income. What does he need extra mass extractors for? Extra he pawnage. Make... He should ma just make stuff that kills pizza. He shouldn't, he shouldn't overinvest in economy. Oh, he's doing it as well. He's doing it anyway. He's already got twice the income, what more do you need? Really? Oh, there goes Splatter's air. Splatter says, screw it. I want to kill as many of your air units as I can. And with that extra wave of interceptors, he might actually kill most of that. He will. Or maybe not. Oh, uh, that was painful. Five. That one, pull back, pull back. But it's going to be rushing two point defenses. <laughs> Without the mass, he just spent all his mass on those mass extractors. Which will help him in the long term. Ah, and there short we go, after burners. Splat one, uh, Splat one just bought afterburners. Yep, which we can clearly see see in use right now. He's also got Brackmans up now. I think he needed these a while ago. No, uh, he's getting owned. This is what I mean by overinvesting in uh, economy. He just he just could have had extra units instead of those mass extractors. Might even get close if he isn't. Uh, oh wow, losing two more tanks there. He's not Building. He's not being careful enough. Build another land factory, we'll probably get shielding and... 
tactical missiles. I'd rather expect AA. And AA. Well, there's adapters, so CML wouldn't really do anything. You should realize that. Not many there, is it? Uh, two adapters left in that bunch. Uh, there's enough adapters to stop any kind of missile action. Going straight for shield. Or is yeah, it? splatter one again, losing tanks. You're in factory, you can't see what they're making is UEF. If, if instead of those three research stations, Demolishes. Would, if instead of those three research stations, he had just made, uh, I mean, instead of those three mass extractors, if he would have just made a few research stations, he could have hired a fat boy by now. Um, there goes that factory he's just built. Yeah, he's just not going to get through that choke point again. Not going to work unless he suicides all his tanks in now. No, it's not going to work either. Which he's doing anyway. He's rushing a forward point defense now. He's trying to protect that point defense as well. Um, yeah. Point defense is dead without killing anything. Factory TML. Where are those research stations? Pizza is still alive, he shouldn't be. Like just reclaiming all the wreckage written near his ACU. And building more mass extractors. I really want to see research stations. Yeah, that'll give him the edge in the, in this match. Yeah, Hands if he would have if he would have just had three levels of training and the the shields upgrade, or or just a fat boy, or overcharge, something like that. That choosing to run in again, losing all his tanks. If he's going to lose this, oh, he's going to actually lose this. That is, Dead. that is terrible. That is embarrassing. That really is quite embarrassing, yes. Blood. Really. And he's dead. If I was pizza, I would have given up five minutes ago. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that he, was game one. Well, Splat was starting to build research stations in his building, in his base. Yeah, that was <laughs> way, way too late. 